I have said repeatedly I am um, supportive of what we are trying to do in Afghanistan, but I have become increasingly skeptical about the infrastructure projects that we are spending money on. While not unprecedented in our history, uh, it is very unusual for our military to be building major infrastructure while we're engaged in a fight on the ground. Um, and, and there's a reason for that, I think, in history, because I think typically the military would say, you know, the security needs are a problem, the sustainment is a problem, and it seems like we've blown over some of those considerations as we have engaged in some of this infrastructure building. The reason we're in Afghanistan, of course, and, and I know that you've supported us over the years on this, uh, is to keep it from becoming, again, a terrorist safe haven for attacks on us. And part of what we're trying to do here is take a society that was turned upside down 30 years ago and bring it back into a, a way forward that at least provides the most basic services. I looked at some of the materials that you, that, that, that you all provided my office and on sustainment um, on the roads. Uh, right now, we've got hundreds of millions of dollars we're putting into road and bridge projects, which, by the way, as an aside, I will say we desperately need in this country. And they're not going to get blown up while we build them. And we're not going to have to pay off the bad guys to create the security in order to build them. Um, th there is no revenue in place right now to maintain or support these roads after we leave. In fact, there's not even a government road authority to focus on the network and operation. Now, there is talk in the briefing that we received that, well, we think that they could. Why aren't we requiring that at least the government of Afghanistan, I mean, to me, it has a lot more credibility that somehow the government is delivering these services, which ultimately is the theory behind COIN, right? That we're trying to make the Afghanistan government look like it's a real government to the people of Afghanistan so they like them better than the Taliban. Why aren't we requiring that the government do that first, that the government provide some kind of gas taxes or some kind of revenue that would, that would maintain these roads or at least a government-wide authority that would allow them to operate uh, a systems of, of roads and bridges in Afghanistan before we put hundreds of millions of dollars of American taxpayer money um, into these projects? They're very good questions. Uh, I won't tell you I have all the answers, but I, we are consistent with your view right now in everything we're doing. If they cannot sustain it, we're not going to build it. And if it can't be sustained by the Afghans, in other words, we're not talking about us providing the sustainment, then it's not going to be a part of the program. I don't From, want anyone to misinterpret yeah. my um, uh, willingness to pull some of this money out and put it in the Highway Trust Fund in yeah. this country as not supporting what our military is trying to do there. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as we are transitioning out, it's almost like the two views are not matching up here that we're continuing. And you know what the problem is, General, honestly? We can do this stuff. Yeah. Afghanistan can't. And so our military, let me give you all credit as leaders of an amazing organization. You tell the people under you that we want to do something. You know what? They're going to do it. Mm -hmm. And so we can build these roads. We can build this power grid. We can contract. We can do all this. And it is a can-do attitude that is so part of our culture that I think sometimes there is a, a sense of denial mm -hmm. about not whether or not we can do it, but how this ends up at the end. And I, I want to tell you, I believe with every intellectual capacity I have, that this is not going to end up well on these infrastructure projects, that it's not going to be a good ending, that there are not going to be ro roads and bridges and cars, and that the Afghanistan government is not going to have a good handle on this, especially in light of the time that you all face in terms of us drawing down.